fashion. It's a night of music. It's a night of just celebrating who we are as Africans, right? I know 54 countries will be represented here tonight. I have hope and faith for that. So are we guys ready for tonight? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I would like to introduce my co-host for tonight. I actually met him, I first met him in Las Vegas when we did a, a huge reunion uh, last year. And you know he had on a black suit with a pink trimming. He, had, he actually had on a Dolce & Gabbana suit. And I'm like, that's such a rich and handsome modern soccer. So you know what I'm talking about, right? He needs no introduction. He has made us laugh for so long. We've seen him on BET, we've seen him on movies, and we've seen him across the stage, across the nation, uh, entertaining us and making us laugh. I would like to introduce tonight my co-host, Michael Blackson. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Let me get some stuff straight right now. All Africans don't know each other. Akon is not my brother. I don't know him. Dikembe Mutombo is not my daddy. I don't know him. Desmond Tutu is not my pastor. I don't know him either. And that African guy that tried to blow up that plant, I really don't know that Marasoka. In fact, when he did that, I deleted him off my Facebook account, Marasoka. So. The only guy that's African that I'm related to is Barack Obama. Give up Barack Obama. Barack Obama. I love Barack. Since he became president, I ain't paying no bills. None of my bills have called me the other day. Where's your mortgage? I'm waiting on my stimulus package. Where's your electric bill? My stimulus package. Gas bill, stimulus package. Child support, stimulus package. Click, click, click. I got the money. Child support don't play. What's up, man? How you doing? Welcome to the show. That's a big guy. What you eat, people? Let me get a human being with ketchup and mayonnaise, please. I mean, it's all good. You gave my, my co-host. Isn't she beautiful? Give her my co-host. She's absolutely, and I'm so mad, you know, our African women come here and they start losing weight. That's not cute. Africa, fat is good. The bigger you are, it means the richer you are, and you eat every day. And when I came to America, I thought every fat person was rich. I was dating all big, greasy motherfuckers. Everywhere I went, come in, fat girl, give me your number. I know you have money. <laughs> Tap the big girl with the cookies for me. I want her number, please. Yeah, the girl with the chicken and the, and, and the pizza. I love her with the Diet Pepsi. Give me her number, too. One time, this skinny girl said hi. I said, get out of here, you broke mother sucker. <laughs> get the big girl in the back with the four breasts, please. I love her, please. I love big girls. I don't want no skinny girl. She's skinny, I'm skinny. Who mess around and start a fire? I love the big guys. You, you, that food is all over this place, man. You should be ashamed of yourself. What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show, man. Thanks for being late. Appreciate it, man. Africans, when they come, they come late. They're going to count and the show be over. Thank y'all. Good night. They're like, hey, it's over. Oh. Like, bro, man, you mean over? I pay my damn money for nothing? It's going to be trouble in the hustle. Oh, they play going down to now. I was in, you know, I was, I was born in Ghana, raised in Liberia, went to school in Nigeria. You know, I went home last year to see my mom in Ghana. Ghana, everything costs money in Ghana. Every, the public restroom costs money. Yes, it costs 50 cents to take a leak and a dollar to do-do. You have diarrhea, that's three dollars, mother so guys. I'm my mom, I had a do-do and I only had 50 cents. I said, me pao cho. I have to shit. But I only have 50 cents. Can I shoot for 50? Just half of it, please. Can I fart for a quarter, please? Tell me something. My stomach is on fire. 